another guy who potentially uh, rumors coming out that he could potentially be a locker room problem. And now there's some outside off the field stuff going on. Sean, I'm sure you guys have heard about you, You've heard about it too, being uh, just following along yesterday. Chiefs uh, beloved by the kingdom chiefs wide receiver, Justin Ross was arrested. The initial um, arresting was uh, due to property, criminal property damage is what they called it. Uh, to over $25,000 worth of damage. Um, they did put a note on the arresting report, uh, just labeled it DV, which we could only assume was domestic violence. That happened on Monday. Then on Tuesday, he had his court arraignment. Uh, from there, they amended the charges. It was uh, taken, the the damages was taken from $25,000 to only $1,000. Uh, but then it was also labeled a, uh, a domestic battery. So domestic violence was definitely there. Damage of property. They did confirm a few items like some jewelry, computers, uh, car keys, things of that nature. Uh, but Justin Ross is not looking good for the dude. Not looking good at all. Uh, I haven't really heard the locker room stuff that you're alluding to. I don't know if he's been a cancer to the locker room or what, but this is just not what you want to see for a guy that's trying to make a team still. Uh, it, it had been reported by Albert Breer. Um, it, it could be concluded that it, there was some locker room issues from the report that Albert Breer had put out. But um, basically Albert was saying, you know, what had happened with him being arrested would be a moot point. But the reason Justin Ross wasn't getting the snaps is he had been inconsistent uh, at the practice field. Didn't feel like they had, re he had really put in the work um, in the, in the film study uh, or on the practice field. There were a lot of things that were, that were going wrong prior to game days um, that had really put him on the outskirts which we've had some additions, so we've needed to made some, make some cuts. And this could be just the final straw uh, that pushes it over the edge if it hadn't been that way already. I know I touched on it on a previous show. I was saying there has to be some other reason that the Chiefs coaches have been minimizing Justin Ross's snaps. I mean, because – when you have the limited production production that he does have when he's actually on the field, like you, you, you can see the routes he's running, what he's doing with the ball in his hands. Uh, Pat likes to throw his way when he's usually on the, usually when he's on the field, uh, you were seeing about all these kinds of positives. So like, to me, that said, there's like some behind the scenes stuff that really isn't vibing with our coaches. So, I mean, it makes sense. Like I said, I don't know his evidence. I wasn't making that claim on anything of of uh, substance. To you know, there's nothing to base that off of. I was just kind of guessing. So uh, it could make sense, um, but I, I really want to touch on like this whole <laughs> multiple players for the Chiefs have had off the field issues since forever. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's all over the NFL, but like. We keep having these domestic freaking violence instances. And at some point, Chiefs front office is going to have to, like, do something to get away from that. Like, it's especially, like, Justin Ross right now, as much as I would love to see him play, it's almost like he would be an okay casualty for something like this if the Chiefs front office wanted to make a little bit of a statement. Like... I don't know the the starting with Kareem Hunt and then just like the different mess of players that we've had have problems with this okay. same kind of issue uh, is is uh, is good. annoying. You don't want to you really don't want to feel like those are the type of players that are playing on your team. Uh, but it's no, sometimes you, they're you, good players. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't, and that's kind of like that's that's kind of the issue with the NFL is it's based on talent and how much money you can bring in, and that's why this could go sideways for Justin Ross. 
Uh, but also we've got to look at history, especially with who our head coach is, knowing that Andy Reid is the king of third, fourth, fifth, sixth chances as long as you don't lie. That was the whole reason that Kareem Hunt, like don't don't forget, like we just went out and we signed Charles Aminahue in the middle of a DV case. He had been charged when we signed him and gave him a bag. We had the issues with Kareem Hunt multiple times. And then the third time happened with the hotel issue. And if he had told the truth, it was confirmed that we would have kept him and ate the suspension. But he lied about it. And that's why he was let go. Not because of his actions, but because he lied about it. Tyreek Hill was kept around. Uh, Kareem Hunt then goes to Cleveland. He has the DUI issue, walks away without having a DUI, but it's caught on video and he gets away with no suspension. Like when we look at it, the NFL doesn't care. They've now put in the new rules, uh, first offense of domestic violence up to six games. Second instance is a lifetime ban that can be appealed as well. So it's not like that really matters either. But when we're looking at it, and I think I'm reminded by something that Skip Bayless had said, and I don't, you guys know me, I don't like Skip Bayless. I don't do major media, but I do respect him prior to being major media because he was an actual journalist. He actually did his job and he covered the Dallas Cowboys and had a good relationship with Jerry Jones. And one of the things that he said on Undisputed quite a few years back uh, was that he could confirm with Jerry Jones and the Dallas PD off, uh, off, like off record and could confirm that Jerry would actually call the police departments around whenever a player got in trouble and would get them out of things. So we know that's probably not the only place that it happens. That's definitely not the only place that it happens, but we can also confirm that the NFL probably doesn't tell us about 90% of the things that happen. So when something does come out about this domestic violence or somebody's getting arrested on gun charges or whatnot, that's just like, that's the unlucky few or the dumb few that do it so often that they actually get caught. 90% of the stuff that actually happens gets swept under the rug and the public never knows about. There are your favorite player and their favorite player has probably done something, whether it's domestic violence or something that has been covered up by their ownership group of their team or their coaches. I it's a pretty guarantee. drastic claim. 90% yeah. is, is I 90%. Wild. And your favorite player. That's the your favorite player and their favorite player. Guaranteed. Ty Bob will find someone to to do some digging and just like completely ruin your day with your favorite player. And to, unless you're the type of person that just doesn't care, you know, separate the athlete from the person. I mean, in this day and age, you you kind of have to. It, it it goes along with music. It goes, do you? Because then you can't, you then you can't to? enjoy anything. You don't have to. I I can enjoy stuff. I guarantee you, do a little <laughs> digging into any of your favorite artists. Any any of your favorite TV or movie people, radio hosts, whatever, outside of us. We've never done anything like that. Outside uh, of us. <laughs> but everybody else. But everybody else, I guarantee it. <laughs> and and it, I hope those I mean, videos just... don't come back. <laughs> hey yo. Yeah, the, the NFL, <laughs> I, we know that they have they have covered up a lot of things. Jerry Jones has confirmed it. Uh, and we know that that's just the continuation because the NFL will, they won't die. It's too much money. You're not wrong there. It is way too much money. And I don't think Justin Ross is going to get cut. You don't. I, I don't. If it's, if we're strictly saying for this is the instance of being arrested. Now, if you want to say like the football stuff, there's a possibility if there's credence to that Albert Breer, which I don't know, like he, he has been good, but there have been many times in which he's just blown shit, blown smoke. Um, like if it's just coming down to the DV, I, I don't think. And, and again, we don't even know, like there's been no information, right? We don't know if what's reported is correct. We don't know if it's not. We're not going to lean on it either either side. We're just going to wait until the facts come out. But 
if it is true, knowing Andy Reid, I don't think he gets cut for being arrested in this situation. Yeah, just it'll come out. It's got to. It's I hate it. I really do. It's not fun. I don't like I don't the even if it's false accusation like the whole fiasco with with Tyree Kill was was a headache while he was here. That was because there was one one thing came out and then another thing came out and then it was just like there was so many conflicting pieces of evidence and then I and great to have on your team what the truth for was going on field production. Yeah, I mean. But I'm almost glad he's in Miami. Me too. I'll t- I'll take Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift over Tyreek Hill. 